welcome back to another Jordan vlog. In today's vlog, we are going to Petra. Right now, we are in Wadi Rum and we are en route to Wadi Musa, which is an hour and 40 minute drive. We're on the road now. We just left our bubble tent. If you haven't seen that vlog, it's the previous one, so make sure to check it out. That's pretty much all I have to say. We're just gonna go get some gas and then have a little road trip. Turn that AC on, son. Also, this is how today's vlog is going to go. We think what we have planned, but nothing ever goes to plan. We booked three nights in Wadi Musa and our Airbnb says that it's like a five minute drive from the entrance of Petra. Today, I think we're just gonna get there and settle in. We have a couple days planned to visit Petra. Getting some gas and in Jordan, they pump your gas for you. So I guess if you're from the South, that's cool. And if you're from the north, that's normal. <laughs> of the U.S. Of the U.S. Yeah. Specifically, New Jersey. No, other states do it too. Oh, uh, really? I know New Jersey has gas attendants that pump your gas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice, and they take credit card, which is great because we have no cash. No yes. Jordanian gas. All right, we're heading out. We paid 23 Jordanian dinars for 24 liters of gas. So we'll put all the conversions here for anyone interested. Um, when you compare it to American gas, it's really not that expensive. It's still far cheaper to drive yourself and pay your own gas than to rent Ubers and taxis everywhere. And it gives you the flexibility of a car. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. The ships are to fly. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belford. Hello everybody and welcome to Wadi Musa. I'm gonna give you a little room tour of our Airbnb. We are staying pretty close to the entrance of Petra. We drove by the visitor center and it is literally two minutes away. We did? Mm -hmm. I didn't see that. Yep. And this is our Airbnb. It's huge. Um, over here we have a fridge and storage, place to hang our clothes, a lot of closet space, a bathroom. <gasps> Don't hit your toe on that. Surprisingly nice. nice bathroom, actually. Yeah, proper plumbing, a nice shower, and then come this way, and we have a desk, which is actually a luxury to come to enjoy because it's nice having a place to set up my computer to do a little editing. And then, actually, we have two desks and a TV and a seating space and a bed. And someone commented on one of our videos and they said they were disappointed that I didn't do a bed test or like jump on the bed. So this is for you. It's actually so comfy. At least and when compared to our bed last night. <laughs> yeah, this place is really comfy, cozy, and large. And we came from a tent in the desert, which was really nice, but the amenities are just a little bit more comfortable here. So we're really happy to be here. This Airbnb is only $30 a night. I don't know, our recent Airbnbs in Northern Africa haven't been, hmm, how do I say, like the most comfortable. So my expectations are pretty low and this place is really, really nice. So I'm really happy. I think it's kind of like a hotel called Salma Hotel. We booked it through Airbnb, and if you want, we can give you the listing. So just let us know. But we're just gonna settle in and let you know what else we do today. Love you guys. Also check out this video. So cool. Guys, we went out for some dinner and this food looks fire. Yep, so we just literally walked across the street. Our Airbnb is actually in a good location for once. We picked a good spot. We're at a Yemeni restaurant. We already ordered hummus and soup, and then we'll have our main dishes coming out soon. Most importantly, let me do a hummus taste test because if you didn't know, hummus is my favorite food in the world. So I'm very picky. Yeah, that's really good. Also, the bread is super warm, so that helps. I got chicken shawarma and Patty got... The whole restaurant. I don't know why this shish toast is so large of a portion. Looks really good though. Yeah, it looks good. Bone yeah. apple teeth. Guys, we were just talking about how nice this Airbnb is. We're trying to sleep. The owner of the Airbnb just came out and said, Hey, we need to do some work. It's it's like 9.50 p.m. right now. He was like, it'll be loud for like the next two hours. Budget travel reality. 
Good morning guys. Today's the day that we are going to visit Petra and we're so excited. We're so grateful. You can probably hear the construction, can you? We feel so grateful that we're able to visit these ancient wonders of the world. I mean, Petra is not classified as an ancient wonder of the world, but it is in my book. And it was just a few weeks ago we were at the Great Pyramids at Giza, and now today we are going to see this stone-carved town that dates back thousands of years. And it really is baffling to sit there and look at it and wonder how this ancient nomadic tribe, the Nabataeans, even managed to carve a city out of rock. And it's incredible that we get to just walk down the road for like two minutes from the visitor center and enter this ancient city. I'm sure you guys have seen the pictures of the treasury. That's the most iconic site. It's also where they filmed Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade. So we'll make sure to see that, of course. Enough rambling. Let's go do some sightseeing. Just kidding, guys. We're going to drive because this is a very steep town. So we're saving ourselves a very steep walk back to our Airbnb after we're done at Petra. So we're driving about two minutes down to the visitor center. We'll park there and then we'll go inside. Okay guys, I just have to mention once again in every one of our Jordan vlogs that you need to get the Jordan Pass if you're planning on coming to Jordan because it saves you so much money and time and it just is more convenient. So basically, the Jordan Pass covers your visa to get in, which is about $55, $60, I think, US dollars. And then it also covers entry to all the tourist spots for a two week period. So we've already used it to get into the Aqaba Fort, which saved us like $13, $14 each. And you're allowed to go into Petra three times, which I don't know if we'll make it into Petra three times, but you could. And an entry to Petra each time is this amount. I'm going to do a full breakdown of how much money the Jordan Pass saved us on our last Jordan vlog, which will be in Jirash. So make sure to stick around to the end of this series to find out. We got a separate line for the Jordan Pass and we didn't even have to wait in any lines. Bubble tent dupe. So we have a tour guide. It's called a map because we're old fashioned and old school. But anyways, we're doing the ride trail today. So we started at the entry gates and then we're here right now and we'll eventually make our way to the treasury. Up I don't know how far we'll get today. Tomorrow we're going to do from the monastery down, maybe some other trails. But just to give you a reference, like I said, this is where we're at. And this is the view. So behind us we have an obelisk tomb and some other tombs. When Petra was first discovered, some people thought it was just a necropolis, a city of dead people. But as historians and scientists came to uncover Petra, they realized that no, this is a living city. It was a big trade route. It was a city full of people. It was the first city where the Nabataeans settled down because they were a nomadic tribe. Anyways, behind us we have some tombs. What's going on? The most normal river in Ohio. This is the dam. It's supposed to be a river and it looks really dry. The Seek Canyon looks sick. It's definitely the most bougie canyon I've ever been in because it's paved. Also, it's being guarded by some Nabataeans. I love being in a canyon. It makes me feel so small and skinny. <laughs> what? Mom? Kinda. All right, guys, my best theory about what this is, is I think this is a house uh, of a Nabataean, and I believe that this is a tomb, because we read that they had tombs right outside their houses. Pretty cool to see, though. It's a good way to stay in touch with your loved ones, your past loved ones. <laughs> also, we are not experts on the study of Petra, but we created our own theory, and you can roast us in the comments, but there's like this, it looks like a, way to like funnel water down from the dam and maybe that's how they got water because i know that was a big mystery like why did they settle down here there's not much of a water source to sustain an entire population so 
we think they dammed up that river and let the water flow down into the city. Sounds good, right? <laughs> Said water source. Alright guys, we are up at this beautiful viewpoint and it cost us five Jordanian dinars to get up here. Headed back down the fun stairs. Alright guys, so we just got down from a viewpoint that we paid five Jordanian dinars to go to and this is unlike Patricia and Matt <laughs> travel. We easily found online that there's a second viewpoint that's completely free. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to hike to because once you come here you'll realize that everyone's trying to sell you on the viewpoint. And today we just caved on the tourist trap and we just paid the five dinars and went up to the viewpoint, got some pictures. Here they are. Check them on Instagram. I'll give you a little short summary on the treasury that's behind me. So it's the biggest building that was carved out in the city and since so it's called the treasury, many raiders thought it was full of treasure, hence why Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade was filmed here. The ball, I don't know what it's called, in the middle, the top, they thought that that was full of treasure, but it's actually just solid stone rock. So no modern day historians or archaeologists found treasure. Perhaps Indiana Jones got to it before them. <laughs> Basically our time in Petra is going like this. Ooh, ah, wow. It's just amazing to uh, imagine them hand carving all these structures into the rock. Like, how did they do that? A nomadic tribe went to this real quick. <laughs> all right guys, this is called the Street of Facades. And right up there is a big tomb. Okay guys, so this is a theater and it's kind of insane to think that they weren't just settling down here, they were actually like enjoying life. It's just interesting to think how humans went from nomadic living to something that reminds you of like the Roman Colosseum. <laughs> All right, gang, right now we are getting some lunch. Well, just like a little snack, a sandwich and a juice. Today we were just going on the main easy trail that I showed you and we're just getting a feel for Petra. And then our plan for tomorrow was to head up to Little Petra where the monastery is and do the hike down from the monastery. There are very large dogs and I see a lot of reviews online, people talking about that and they're very, very aggressive, chasing people, growling at people. Um, one tried to bite me. Some very hungry kitties, huh? <laughs> they know we have food. We're heading back through the canyon, back past the treasury and towards the entry gates. That's all we're doing today, but we will see you in the morning to show you more of Petra. Petra's a wild place. The donkeys, what would you say? They're screaming? Screaming. Oops. Donkeys are screaming, dogs are fighting, all of that sound is just echoing through the canyon. Cats everywhere, I don't know. People yelling, people screaming, it's a... It's, it's a really cool time. though and amazing to see. Yeah, no, it's amazing, but just so you know. Yeah, it is pretty Guys, I think we found the best coffee shop view ever. Yeah, so we decided before we're heading out, we're gonna grab a coffee and Matt's getting a tea and we're just gonna sit by the treasury and people watch. And look, Indiana Jones has a snack shop here. All right guys, that's it for today. We will see you in the morning for more Petra exploring. And we're just gonna 
would not solo travel as a woman here. I take it back. Uh oh. What happened? Okay. Creepy men touching me. Touching you? Yeah. Anyways. Hi guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it's the next day so we're going back to Petra. We're hopefully going to park in the regular car lot and then get a 4x4 ride to the monastery and do the trail backwards. Hopped in a random man's truck, classic Patricia and not new. But um, we're heading to the monastery I think, or somewhere near it. We'll see how long of a hike we have when we get there. But we're successfully doing Petra the back way, one way or the other. <laughs> also it's 10 dinars each this ride. Here's the conversion. All right guys, so we just took like a 20 or 30 minute Jeep ride through like an insane trail. And basically, I'm really glad that we did not walk that because then from here we have a 45 minute to an hour hike to the monastery. So it's nice to be able to start your hike there. Alright guys, on this arduous hike up to the monastery, we have stopped off at a viewpoint where you can actually see Israel. We're not going to Israel on this year of travel, so this is the best you guys get. Crazy viewpoint. We think we've caught the first glimpse of the monastery and if we haven't, I'm going to die because we've been trekking on this trail for 46 days. Not really, but it has been like an hour and 45 minutes already. Guys, we made it to the monastery. The monastery is certainly a must do when you're visiting Petra and you can choose to either come from the back way like we did this morning or you can come up the easy trail and just make it all the way from the entry gate. You definitely have to come. This is just as epic as the treasury and a lot of people don't come here so there's far less people here than the treasury and it's relatively easy to get to. All the tour guides say that the back way is the best way and I think I'd agree just because there's less people you actually are hiking through the canyons and the valleys instead of just on a paved trail and then you can also see Bedouin people living outside of the restricted or like closed off zone and they're still living in caves which is pretty <laughs> insane to see. So guys just so you can visualize we parked somewhere over here and we're driven somewhere up here and then took the jeep ride somewhere over here and we did the back door hike to the monastery which isn't listed on this map because I don't think it's technically part of Petra. Anyways and then we're at the monastery now and we're gonna go down the monastery trail back to the main trail and find our car. But what I was saying is that you can just come from the main gates, go up, and then come up to the monastery and return, or taxi back. Does that help? <laughs> All right guys, tell me that donkeys braying and echoing doesn't sound like Tuscan Raiders, featuring cool view of the monastery. So we're finished at the monastery. We're gonna head back down the main trail. I think we have a lot of stairs to descend, but um, yeah, we're still just in awe of that. All this is hand carved into rock and they built a town out of this canyon. I hope you guys get to come visit and I hope you've been enjoying watching this vlog so far. Okay, I love you so much. It's kind of a cool little market actually. Patricia's friends. Stop, there's so many people here. All right, bit of an update for you all. So we just came down this dotted path, which I think means stairs. And we're here on this path. 
heading back to the main trail that'll take us back through the Al Seek Canyon and the Treasury. We saw this and are checking out the Lion Temple now. Matt's making me go in the dark hole. That's why the donkeys go to the bathroom. Don't go in there. And I think that's the lion. Yeah, I think that's the lion temple. It's cool. All right, guys, this is Kasar Al Bint, which is uh, temple ruins. And now we're going to be walking on Colonnaded Street, which is supposed to be pretty cool. Not sure why, but we'll take videos. All right, guys, check out these cool mausoleums. We're almost back to the treasury, guys. All right, guys, one last look at the treasury before we head out. Goodbye to the treasury for now until we meet again. It's pretty epic. We stopped off to admire the treasury one last time, and now we're headed back into the Seek Canyon, Slot Canyon, to head back to our car. Also, apparently the treasury goes underground as well. Camels were. Alright guys, we're taking a break in the shade for a minute. <laughs> the last stretches in the bald faced sun. This is the first time or second time? All right, guys, that was a journey, but we did it, and we're back at the car park. We're getting out of here. I guess I should close up the vlog, right? Yeah. So thank you so much for watching this Petra vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing the views and coming along with us. You got to see almost all of Petra without having to do the hike. I'm not sure how much we trekked today. Here is our estimated total of miles that we trekked, but it was wonderful. If you have the opportunity to come, definitely come. Thanks for watching the vlog. Make sure to subscribe and comment where you're watching from. We just like to keep tabs on you guys and have a great day. We will see you in the Dead Sea. This is how I know I'm, I'm aging because every single time I sit in the car, I have to pee. Like I peed right before we left. Aging, really? You're 23. I peed right before we left, but I just feel like I need to go. And maybe it's because we're in the middle of the desert and I don't really have the option, so I'm like, ugh. So I feel like a mix between my mom and my best friend, Kylie. <laughs> the Nabataeans are calling us. Of course the music ends as soon as we Wait, start. listen. <laughs> okay, those are not the Nabataeans. <laughs> in 1999, in a land far away, the greatest human on earth was born. Me, bitch. Thank <laughs> you.